Go, big guy. Hey, hey, move, Marissa. Ah, don't do it. Shake the bucket. I think they're ready to move. Doesn't it seem like it? Hey, big guy. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Got Dunbar right here. He's already ready. We just pulled up to the gate. They've been hanging out in one of the far away pastures, I guess, corner lot, but he's sitting here waiting. Been waiting on a long time for this. I'm a little anxious and a little nervous at the same time. My wife and I are going to move this herd. We've got cubes with us, so we're gonna move this herd. We gotta take them down and around and basically back up here. This is one of the lots that I sprayed for cuckaburs not too long ago. It is breeding season and it has started and I've seen signs from the bulls. There's a perfect example right there. So, so he's, uh, he's ready to, he's ready to go. So we probably shouldn't wait any longer, but this is the moment right here. We are going to take Big Joe and let him out with this herd here, the Dunbar herd. And we're going to take Dunbar and put him in with Kit and Flo, which Big Joe's been with forever, as far as I know, even before I got Big Joe and Kit. So, and then I've got to try to get Dunbar soloed up, get him up in our corral. From there, I've got to put him in a pen, hold him, and then I've got to get Big Joe singled out and get him down here. So, Big Joe's never been out in this side or these pastures at all. We don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, he's never even been around these females at all. Breeding season's right here and we gotta get these bulls switched. Let's get it started, I guess. We got the herd up here for now, but uh, there he is right there. I need him to go right there. I need him to go, look at there, holy crap. Here he comes. Wow, that is crazy. That just. Get down. Let's go, big guy. Hey, hey, move, Marissa. Ah, don't do it. Shake the bucket. Seriously.
stand in one. Okay. Let me talk a second. We got really lucky as I was filming. Dunbar jumps over the old barn sidewall, sneaks in behind me, comes down the lane, which is exactly what I wanted him to do. I really wasn't prepared for that because he snuck in behind me. Then I didn't shut the gate because I just trusted him. I thought he would come up here in this holding pen. Of course he didn't, but luckily got him back in here. He really wants to see Big Joe. That's why he came back. We just got really lucky. This is exactly where we want him. Now, I think the hard part is over. I think this transition should be a little bit easier. So we'll, uh, it's time to let Big Joe out with the big herd. All right. So uh, let's see how it comes. Operation Switcheroo. Operation Big Joe Dunbar Switcheroo. There he is, he's waiting. He knows, he knows what happens over here. somebody right down there shut that gate hey watch my, watch my back here he's coming this way Hey, he's coming back, hun. Dusty? All right, so these two are smooching and smelling each other. We just need Big Joe to keep going way down there. Through that orange gate. Oh, there's a female. It's a little heifer. Oh, here the whole herd comes. This would be good. Why? Right, come here. Uh, you smell peaches is getting in the way.
Big Joe is with the Big Herd. He's in there. I'm gonna give him some time to do all the smelling and stuff and saying hello and introducing himself, I guess. This is weird, really weird. Then we gotta move Dunbar with Kit and Flo. All right, let's go get a little up closer. Showing a little dominance. Let's see, he's the new guy. You guys probably wondering, what is all this dead stuff right here? Well, like I said a couple weeks ago, oh, the calf's gonna go check him out. It's like, golly, who's that big old guy? These are all the dead cockerbirds that we sprayed, and it just takes them a while for them to wilt over and actually decompose. So they're uh, on their way down. But the big guy, he's showing us some stuff off here. Whoa. <laughs> Yo. Okay, last but not least, everything has gone pretty good so far. Big Joe's out in the big pasture. Let's we'll start over on this. Tom. He's ready to get out of here. Hey, big dude. I'm gonna take you to some new ladies. Here we go.
Marissa, look at this deer. What in the world? <laughs> I think she's looking for feed. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You guys seeing this? She's about 20 yards from me. Camera probably doesn't do it justice, but she is wanting some feed. I think she's been eating off the bison a little bit. Maya, you eating grass? And it's a doe. And see her bag. She's got a baby somewhere. It's weird seeing Dunbar up here. So the wife and I, we succeeded today. We got Big Joe. We got Dunbar up first. Then we got Big Joe out in the big pasture with the big herd. Dunbar's herd that he's been with for a long time. I mean a long time. He's had two sets of babies with that herd. Now he's in here with Kit and Flo. And uh I know some of you are going, why is he in here in this pen? Well, there's a couple of people that always ask me, why do you put the bison in this pen? Listen, guys, I want you to understand something. This area, you see the big shade tree there. There's a big shade tree right here. It's cool. There is dirt here, but I don't know if you've noticed, but bison do like the dirt, okay? Yes, they love green grass and whatnot, but they get to go out there and graze, okay? They're not locked up in here. Right now they are because we had to get, we had to get Kit and Flo up here and Big Joe, pin them up in a big pen, then reduce them down to a small pen. That's what you have to do with these animals, just like cattle. It's no different in cattle. This is part of ranching. This is part of raising bison. One pen to a smaller pen and reduce it down until you can actually single them out. So right now, Dunbar and Kit and Flo, I'm gonna have to get used to saying that are in here and this is a safe pen. So if they do get a little bit of rambunctious, we've got these continuous panels here. So besides that successful day, successful evening um, with Marissa and I, I appreciate my wife helping me uh, come out here and do this. She did a lot of my filming and uh, she helped me, um, helped me cut and whatnot. This is gonna take some getting used to because Dunbar is kind of my, he's my baby, he's my, He's a guy I've had for a long time since he's a yearling. He's always been a good bull to us, and he's rolling around in the dirt right now, but he's gotta show his dominance too. Hey, big guy. So a lot of you are probably wondering, why did we switch these bulls out? Well, to be honest with you guys, Big Joe is about seven years old. You know, these bulls start to, they got to get out of their prime eventually. Dunbar is just starting to get into his. He's only four years old. Doing what he does best, just making a racket with a, a feed drop we use. He's got to show his big toughness somehow. But he's still young. He still has a ways to go. No, he's not near as big as Big Joe is. That 1,885 pounds that Big Joe is. Dunbar is only about 14, 1,500 pounds, depending on... The, uh, depending on the time of year. So anyways, uh, this will be interesting. I guarantee you Kit, if she already isn't, she is, will be in heat very soon. Because remember, Kit had her baby on May 5th. Flo just had her baby here recently. It'll take Flo a little bit before she comes in heat. Now, Dunbar could have already bred some of the big herd. And and maybe we, we I mean, we've been so busy lately. Well, maybe we didn't catch it. But um, July is typically when breeding season really kicks off and it gets hot and heavy here pretty soon. We'll keep an eye out on everything and, and the herd, Big Joe especially. He's got some work to do. Big Joe's got seven females now uh, to breed. He's, I don't think, according to the previous owners, I'm not sure, and they may correct me, but he's had these two cows, Kit and Flo, with him for a long time. This is the first time we changed it up and um, really excited about it but also a little nervous. Big Joe's out with the big herd and Dunbar's in here. We're gonna let him out of here, of this area, and they'll get to graze and whatnot. We're just gonna keep them here probably for the night, let them get used to each other and uh, get those smells and 
properly introduce each other and uh, we'll keep you updated on everything. Thank you for being a part of this. Uh, first time ever at Cross Timbers Bison. It's fun to come out here and do this with my wife and she gets super nervous. So if, if the camera is not perfect or we missed a shot, it's okay, it's just part of it. So we love doing this and we, we do this all for the bison. And Dunbar, he still has a ways to go. He's, a, he's gonna be our bull for a long time and we've invested in him and he's not going anywhere. He's still my guy and uh, we're just giving Big Joe a chance to use while he's in his prime. We love that big body frame of Big Joe's. We're just gonna try something new and see how that goes. Guys, we'll, can, we'll continue to do this and we'll keep you updated on everything and see how it goes. And uh, hopefully it all goes pretty well and we'll see, we won't see results for a long time, right? It'll be a couple of years before we really start to see the development of those babies that um, they're producing. So anyways, thank you guys for watching us and we really appreciate you following us. If you haven't subscribed to us guys, raising these awesome animals. There's no cooler animal in North America. Thank you guys. Kevin was actually cooking dinner for us while Marissa and I were out here working. But I wanna thank Kevin too. My stepdad, Kevin, he, uh, Kevin is my herdsman, top herdsman. He does a lot. I wanna thank him as well for helping me take care of these animals. And he puts a lot of time and effort into it, even though he, he has a full-time job and uh, has a lot going on. Uh, they raise a sheep farm on the other side of town, about 20 miles from here. And uh, they've always raised sheep. And so he's busy, but he takes time out and uh, is always helping us take care of the bison as well. So I just wanna thank Kevin for this because this is a big deal for us and to do this and uh, everything went smooth and great but I just want to thank him as well for helping us take care of these animals so that we are able to do this because he helps us a lot so thank you Kevin